your responsibility as elected officials who we elected to stand with us, to stand behind us, regardless of, you know, what kind of political, you know, drama is going on, it is important that you stand with your students. Today we're not talking about the Karen mission and its issues and its entire program. We are talking about the student. They are being harassed, found out, examined, and then put on to a site to be used as a method of hate, to silence them, and to keep them under the foot and under the head of an imperialist ideal. So, today you have to recognize that you must step away from the conflict, step away from the drama, and stand with peace, stand with the people who support peace. I know that one of the people who's blacklisted in this current, you know, witch hunt is a good man and he's a leader, but I have seen him go through so much because of the, the level of harassment and indictment that this has created, and it is hard to see that. It is hard to see students and leaders that you respect have, sh you know, shake. It's, it's not fair, and it's not right, and it's time that you understand that you can do thank something. You. Thank you. So thank you. Um, my name is Nikita Speyer. I was hoping that I could speak on behalf of the Chem Club event, or uh, the Chem Club run event that we had this Saturday, the STEM Festival. Uh, we had Chemistry Club, Engineering Club, we had the Physics Department, Math Department um, come out here on Saturday and do a lot of experiments with young kids and expose them to uh, STEM. In their, in their early age, and it was a success, and I was hoping that I could possibly show some pictures from the event. It's possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are they ready? Uh, I can, if I can pull up on Google Drive. Uh, you got one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, The turnout this year was uh, bigger. You know, it was it was slightly smaller than last year uh, for clubs, but for students, for young students that came, it was actually bigger. And we're hoping that we can do it again next semester or next year, and that we have an even bigger turnout next year. But that's all. Like have made 
horrible anti-Semitic or anti-LGBTQ comments and posts, but associating people who are not with these people is not helpful. And I'm standing with my friends who I, Hisham, Yusuf, and other people who were parts of other of our club and were blacklisted. I stand with them because I know they're not they're not racist or anything they were accused of. But it's not just my friends. It's also I'm not talking because my some people I know were blacklisted or because my group was blacklisted. I'm talking on behalf of everyone. Thank you. Get us 
um, not installed, and he he accused us of being a hate group. And not the minutes after that went lost at the next ICBC meeting. When I asked the chair for the minutes, I was dismissed. I was completely dismissed. I was not given an answer or an explanation. So I'm questioning their willingness for transparency. Why did the minutes where my club is being called a hate group go missing? Um, that's it. Thank you. Just one second, Leo. Just clarification, I believe the minutes were just not ready yet. They, they take some time, they were not approved by the advisor yet, and so they will come through. The, typically, the ICC minutes are public. Is that not a explanation that the officers that they would get, knowing that? I, I, I can't there. speak to that. All I know is that they weren't ready yet. No. Thank you, Dr. Gross. Thank you for the public comment. Is there anybody else that would like to speak There's still with public comment? Mm -hmm. Just a reminder, so public comments do not answer all your public comments. Hi, I just want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that came and supported Holocaust Remembrance Day last week on Thursday. It was a day that really brought together a lot of different communities. I know that uh, the Spanish club, they took time out of their own meeting to come and show up, so that really uh, touched my heart. It was a day that was very hard to listen to all the stories that Mary Bauer had to say about when she was in Auschwitz in Poland and then how she survived the death march uh, in the snow uh, with her mother. So it was, it was a day that really touched my heart because it's what my grandfather had to go through. So it, it's, I, I really show thanks to this school and to Associated Students and to the students at the Kane Center or anyone uh, for showing up to a day that really brought together communities, um, no matter what, just to hear from a survivor of the atrocities of the Nazis and in Germany. So really thank you to everyone. Are there any further public comments? All right, hearing and seeing none, I would like to thank everybody that came and spoke on behalf of whichever discussion or action I want to see today. With that being done, we can move on to our informational item for the day. Uh, Dr. Gus, the floor is yours. So this is hard. Sorry. So many of you who know me know that at my very deepest core, I am a teacher, I'm an academic. So I'm here to announce that I'm stepping down as Associate Dean of Student Life as of June 30th, and I will be heading back to the classroom this fall. I want to thank the Associated Students of Santa Monica College, and especially this board, the 2018-19 board, for making these past four years some of the most educational, challenging, and rewarding years of my professional life. And although, as many of you know, last year was probably the most difficult year of both my personal and my professional life, this year with this board was one of the best. And it was really healing for all of what I've gone through in the last few years. You guys really helped to repair that damage, and I thank you for that. Together, we've accomplished a great deal. We brought a rock star to homecoming. We advanced our food security programs. We developed a solution for our homeless students living in cars. We produced so many awesome events, had lots of really important debates. We brought incredible speakers. We provided many activities and field trips to countless students. We updated our processes. We rewrote our governing documents and we reassessed our priorities. I am honored and proud to have had the chance to work with all of you. I am proud of the work you have done, and I am proud of the goals that I have accomplished while I've been here, especially in terms of food security and our winning civic engagement program, and especially watching this group develop over this last year into really powerful leaders. I want to thank the staff of Student Life, especially Amelia and Benny, who have carried me through and helped me keep standing through all of what we've been through. Marco, thank you for your coming in at the last minute this fall and saving us this year. We're gonna miss you up here in ways that you can't imagine. And to Tiffany and Dennis, who are the backbone of uh, the counseling and picking up the pieces as I throw them at you, at, throw all of it at everyone. I. I am really glad that I have had this time to be up here, but it is time for me to go back to Stan Trump's blue books and whiteboards.
not listening to this. <laughs> I just wanted to thank Dr. Grass for coming to the AIDS board and telling us firsthand to us, to the board, you are an outstanding mentor for us, and I thank you for all of your work. So, if I could have another round of applause for Dr. Grass. Usually those can also be included in the director reports for a 